boats here where you can uh, go and jump in and fish and swim and all. If you ever come back and you if you come prepared or you come prepared this time, the information on how to use it is on the right hand side in a big tote. Hello everyone, uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, my name is Abe and uh, today I am at this private island. It's called Island Spirits. Uh, it's a private island on uh, Rice Lake. This island was originally purchased by a Russian immigrant and today his uh, granddaughter is the one managing it. Uh, her name is Captain TJ and uh, so far it looks really nice it's really cool there's the different animals there's chicken all over this island laying eggs and pretty much uh, you can go and pick uh, pick your own bre uh, eggs for breakfast but it's first come first serve so you gotta uh, hurry up and uh, there's uh, wood cabins all over the island uh, uh, places to set up your tents uh, private docks uh, as well as there's 25 uh, canoes and kayaks to choose from that you can use for free all day long. Um, there's apparently really great uh, fishing in this location, uh, so hopefully we'll catch some fish. Really pretty place. There is other islands on this lake and uh, <clears throat> today the weather is a little gloomy, but as long as it's not raining, we're fine. Me personally, I wanted to sleep in a tent, uh, so I brought my tent and set it up at a really nice location, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, but uh, some of my friends who were originally planning to sleep in the cabin decided that they actually want to sleep in the tent, so uh, I might have to actually sleep in the cabin and give my tent to them because they don't really go camping that often, so I want them to experience the beauty of camping. Um, yeah, so let's guys check out what this island has to offer and uh, see if it's nice. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this short video and um, see you soon. Today they had an ice cream um, at 2 p.m. but we missed it because we got here really late. It's already like 7 p.m. I think. But it's okay. This is one of the bigger cabins on the island. Um, our cabin is a little smaller, but this gives you an idea. I think this one would fit like 8 to 10 people. Pretty cool. This is one of those uh, locations where you can um, come and check if there are any eggs. Um, so we already picked our eggs. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. See, there is a chicken. <laughs> it's pretty cool. This is the inside of my cabin. This is where I'm sleeping tonight, instead of tent. Uh, it's got mattresses. You gotta bring your own sheets. Uh, I'll just use my sleeping bag. And there is a little porch. And over there, we've got lake. Sorry, here. Yeah, there's lake. So I just finished setting up the tent that was supposed to be my place but now I want someone else <laughs> um, and lovely location just great my friend Anton making barbecue you guys remember him from my bike video looks pretty good this is the uh, short rib steak so short rib steak uh, I think it's Hungarian sausage spicy Italian medallion steak yes. perfect grill marks nice. can't wait so I just started this fire um, I don't know why they put a pile of leaves and little um, twigs in here because uh, it might take forever to burn out and meanwhile it's smoking a lot and we want to start burning proper firewood that we bought <clears throat> so hopefully it won't take us uh, too much time 
хочу що зробити. A couple more minutes should be ready. Okay guys, water is ready. It's a one liter pot, one liter bottle. So it's pretty convenient. Apparently water is really warm. I haven't uh, touched it, but my friend did and he said it was really warm. Okay guys, uh, we just heard coyotes. They're not on this island, they're on, I think, on the shore, but it came from this direction. So I'm gonna get over here and hopefully maybe we can hear something. Came from that direction. Nope. Can't hear anything. Okay guys, we just put out the fire and um, everyone went to sleep. So um, I just cleaned up the table so that no raccoons or animals um, eat our food overnight. And uh, the plan is to wake up early in the morning, take uh, photos of the sunrise, uh, as well as uh, I actually spent the last like half an hour taking photos by the campfire and um, uh, just overall like night photos. Uh, some of them turned out really interesting. Uh, I'll uh, share them on, uh, in this video and uh, yeah so I'll see you guys in the morning and uh, uh, hopefully it's not gonna disappoint because the weather is kind of overcast so I'm just hoping that it will be clear by the morning so we'll see okay guys wish me good night bye good morning guys um, just woke up recently it's 6 40 a.m. Uh, I, initially I got up at 5.30 just to see the weather outside and it wasn't anything special. It's still overcast so there was no sunrise to film and the lake was actually very clear. There was no mist or anything like that. So I just kind of lay in bed for another hour and uh, and then yeah, we, me and my friend Anton, we got up. Now we're going fishing so we're gonna go pick up some canoes. Uh, and uh, and see if we can catch something so stay tuned did you hear that no. you think that's a fish Cause that's what I heard yesterday twice. I've heard it all night too. Really? Huh. It was weird. Yeah, there's definitely something. So we tried 
to sit on the canoe together it was too sketchy and my camera is not waterproof so I decided not to risk it and get off instead I'll I'll probably get like a paddle board and then paddle next to next to him guys uh, just sitting by the fire here made a really stupid mistake I dropped my car keys in the lake <laughs> uh, so frustrating I was paddling all my stuff was in my um, secure pocket that has a zipper on it and somehow I left my car keys in my like regular um, side pocket while I was out in the lake they freaking fell so now I have to ask my brother to bring the spare keys because you can't really start the car it's like all electronic and he now has to drive for two hours <laughs> to get me the spare keys and yesterday when I was leaving my house I was thinking to get the spare keys usually I get I always bring spare keys when I go somewhere um, far and you know I, for some reason I, I left them at home and guess what I lose my the only keys I have so lesson learned for sure um, yes a little bit frustrated because of that but you know nothing you can do so just one of those days other than that uh, morning is good so far <laughs> I'm sitting by the fire, uh, haven't had breakfast yet, so we're gonna do breakfast soon. My friend Anton is still out in the lake trying fishing. I don't know if he caught anything or not. Hey Anton, did you catch anything? One fish, too small. Oh, okay. So no fish for breakfast? Nope. <laughs> well, at least we've got fresh eggs. <laughs> at least. They were so tired rowing against the wind. Okay, I made a really stupid mistake. But you can find them, no? No, it's like deep. There's no chance you can find them. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah. <laughs> This is where we got our eggs this morning. It's like little egg factories, always fresh. It's pretty cool. These are donkeys that live on this island. You can go scratch them. There's some goats. Donkey keeps following me. <laughs> he wants me to scratch. <laughs> On this island there is this um, oven, it's 100 years old apparently, and it still works. Uh, you can actually come and make your own bread if you can. There's some instructions on the side, pretty cool.
So it's time for us to go home. Uh, we just finished packing, uh, waiting for the ferry now. Uh, it should be coming uh, anytime soon. And I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, camping trip. And uh, <clears throat> please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, and I see you guys next time. Goodbye.